Hi, it's Scott Vogel on Sex Addiction. I'm going to share with you what doesn't work in helping a sex addict. Sex addiction is not a widely discussed disease yet. There's a lot of myths and misconceptions around about what's the best way to help somebody with a sex addiction. What's the best way to help them get into recovery and get sober? You see, the path to recovery from sex addiction, it, it's very long, and it is difficult. Most people don't want to hear that, especially sex addicts. And the addiction affects the addict, but it really affects those closest to that person, friends, family, colleagues. The perception that most people have is they understand and they have compassion for people who are struggling with a drug addiction or an alcohol addiction. They can understand that. But when it comes to sex addiction, they don't really understand what's involved in helping somebody to recover. So explaining it to those people is important so that they understand that there's some compassion for the addict. And it'll help them understand what doesn't work when it comes to helping the sex addict recover. People who suffer from sex addiction all already have intense feelings of shame, of guilt, of worthlessness, and, and hopelessness. They've been struggling in secret, and they just can't seem to stop their disease from consuming them. So is using guilt a way to stop or help? No, it's not. So when they're already guilty, to help them feel guiltier won't help them recover. It'll just push them further into their addiction. And a loved one might think that, well, if I make them feel guilty enough, they'll go seek out help. They'll get better. It's not a good approach because the guilt will fuel the addiction in most cases, and they'll push them to a breaking point where they might already be in a very delicate situation. Then comes using shame. Shame is an awful lot like guilt. And it doesn't work to help the sex addict either because shame is something they're experiencing that's very, very deep that usually was given to them at some point in their lives that they really feel bad about themselves and what they're doing. And they may not be engaging in activities that are really compatible with their moral or spiritual values. And that's causing enough shame in itself and they just can't stop. Their uncontrollable urge leaves them feeling ashamed, guilty, and hopeless. And so by adding more shame from another source, it'll only make their struggle even more difficult and probably push them further into their addiction. Now, who's been hurt from the disease of sex addiction? Well, immediately, family and friends around the sex addict have probably been hurt. Their relationship with the addict has probably suffered deeply, and some of them may just not want to be involved with the addict anymore. They're just, they're tired and they're fed up. What has to be understood that this is a disease, and what they're doing is not intentional, it's unintentional. They don't hurt people intentionally. They don't hurt their loved ones. Why would somebody who's loving and caring want to hurt somebody? It's in the disease. So the addict feels isolated already from everyone and considers himself hopeless. So isolating them even more doesn't work. It won't help them to make the right decisions and get into recovery. In, in a lot of cases, those with sex addictions, they have a really strong desire to stop. They just they can't. They're unable to. It's like if somebody had cancer and you said, well, stop your cancer. They couldn't stop it. Same with sex addiction. What the sex addict needs truly is the love and support of everyone around them so that they can have the strength to seek help and recover and not be with the shame and the guilt and the worthlessness and the hopelessness. One might think, well, then they should just stop all sexual activity whatsoever. That's not really a useful strategy because abstaining is, is okay for a short period of time, 
but then that person needs to get back into healthy sexuality. You see, healthy normal adults have normal sexual desires, and it'd be a big mistake to try and repress those healthy sexual desires and feelings. It's part of how we were built. Now, this is a big difference between drug and alcohol addiction uh, and the recovery programs because in drugs and alcohol, the person is asked to give up the substance. The recovery programs are not asking the person to give up sex. They're asking them to give up their unwanted, obsessive, compulsive sexual behaviors that cause negative consequences. So the better approach with those struggling with sex addiction is to help them to develop a healthy sex life, help them to get into recovery and overcome their addictive behaviors and their addictive self. Healthy sex and education and treatment, that's what's going to help a sex addict, not abstinence, not shame, not guilt. So we talked about the path to recovery and helping a sex addict is long. It's not an activity, it's a process, it's going to take time. We talked about the intense feelings of shame, of guilt, of worthlessness, of hopelessness. We talk about using guilt and shame is not going to help the sex addict, but only fuel them. And we talked about who's been hurt, and the people around them who have been hurt oftentimes are the ones that will help them get better. Abstinence for a short period of time in recovery is good to reacquaint the addict self with what healthy sexuality is, but long-term abstinence is not a solution to a sex addiction. Recovery is the solution. 12-step recovery work, group therapy, individual therapy. That's the solution. That's what works in helping a sex addict, helping them get into treatment and recovery programs. Please visit our YouTube channel on sex addiction for more videos on sex addiction and recovery from sex addiction. Also go to onsexaddiction.com, visit our blog for a free video explaining what sex addiction is, the seven symptoms of sex addiction, the four traumas of sex addiction, and the four faulty core beliefs set up by those traumas of sex addiction, and of course the solution in recovery from sex addiction, the seven paths to success. You'll also find more information about sex addiction and sex addiction recovery. This is Scott Vogel on Sex Addiction.